Um, oh, this was awesome. So, as you guys know, here, you know what? I'll start off with this again, a refresher. Now to the con um, due to God or whatever, the Alabama Supreme Court decided on a case and used a case where a family that was, um, that had, uh, embryos lost their embryos in an unsecured uh, fertilization uh, clinic or they dropped like the vial basically someone dropped the vial and therefore they sued the clinic on not only uh, the the basis that there was like mishandling but also on murder the Alabama Supreme Court took on the case and and decided that oh another patient dropped the vial sorry and then the Alabama Supreme Court was like, oh, this is great. Yeah, th that means that embryos equals human life. Okay. Now, obviously embryos do not equal human life. That's crazy. However, this caused the fertility clinics that exist in Alabama to suspend IVF treatments because of the legal concerns that... Uh, Go along with this. Controversial Alabama Supreme Court ruling that frozen embryos have the same legal rights as children. Two more fertility clinics in the state have suspended in vitro fertilization treatments over potential legal risk. The ruling has now become an issue for candidates in tomorrow's South Carolina Republican primary. Robert Costa is covering that race in Charleston. Bob, good morning to you. Good morning, Gail. Early voting ended here yesterday, but today candidates will be making a last-minute push to get their supporters to the polls. And it is that Alabama Supreme Court ruling that has given an upheaval to this presidential race. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley worked to turn out voters in her home state this Saturday. Got to get everybody to the polls. Everybody. Haley's comments this week on reproductive rights have come under scrutiny after the Alabama Supreme Court's controversial ruling that frozen embryos are considered babies. When you talk about an embryo, you are talking about, to me, um, that's a life. And so I do see where that's coming from when they talk about that. Since the ruling, three clinics in Alabama have put a pause on IVF treatments due to legal concerns. And now Haley is questioning the court's decision. We don't want them to stop doing IVF treatments. We need to make sure that embryos are protected. I personally believe an embryo is a baby. Not everybody's going to agree. That Thank you. Thank you. In Michigan, Vice President Kamala Harris. I love that she fucked up and said, I do believe, I do believe embryos are, are babies. Meanwhile, Trump is out here being like, under my leadership, the Republican Party will always support the creation of strong, thriving, healthy American families. We want to make it easier for mothers and fathers to have babies, not harder. That includes supporting the availability of fertility treatments like the IVF in every state in America, like the overwhelming majority of Americans, including vast majority of Republicans, conservatives, Christians, and pro-life Americans. I strongly support the availability of IVF for couples who are trying to have a precious baby. Nikki Haley, being the fucking dumbass that she is, Nikki Haley being the absolute dummy that she is was like, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, that's right. They are babies. They're, they're real babies. Actually, Trump doesn't even touch that shit and immediately goes, yeah, that sucks. Actually. Uh, no, the IVF clinic should remain intact. What the fuck are you guys doing? Um, anyway, Today, I'm calling on the Alabama legislature to act quickly to find an immediate solution to preserve the availability of IVF in Alabama. The Republican Party should always be on the side of the miracle of life and the side of mothers, fathers, and their beautiful babies. IVF is an important part of that, and our great Republican Party will always be with you in your quest for the ultimate joy in life. So, of course he did that. Duh. It's a gimme. It's a major fuck-up for Alabama where those dumb inbred hicks at the fucking Supreme Court thought Christian fundamentalism could go that far. Very, very stupid. However, nobody tops Tommy Tuberville. And with this and Alabama I mean rule no one, okay? If you haven't seen this video, you're in for a motherfucking ride. Now, let me tell you something. There is perhaps no better demonstration of the undeniable fact that these fucking apes in suits are so dumb, 
oftentimes dumber than the average American. Just because they're in a position of power and wear suits does not change that reality. Okay? Tommy Tuberville demonstrated that today, that it does not take any kind of mental clarity and you can be as stupid as a fucking sea cucumber and still fill the role of a guy in the Republican Party. It's the same as the Democratic Party too. Okay? I'm telling you right now, you have no idea how how stupid he is. Drawing national attention, clearly, the person who's behind that decision, Alabama Chief Justice Tom Parker, is also coming under scrutiny tonight. People are paying close attention to what he has been saying, not just about this, but also this interview that he did just in the last week, where Justice Parker said that he was a believer of the Seven Mountain Mandate. It's this popular movement urging Christians to completely conquer the, quote, seven mountains of American life including education, media, and the U.S. government. Listen to him talk about it for yourself. God created government. And the fact that we have let it go yeah. into the possession of others is heartbreaking for those of us right. who understand, and we know it is for him. And that's why he is calling and equipping people to step back into these mountains right now. I'm very aware that he is equipping me with something for the specific situation that I'm facing. Yeah. There you go. Um, I don't have to struggle trying to find my way through it. True to form, for those who are familiar with his career, Chief Justice Parker did not shy away from invoking his faith in this controversial decision. At one point in the ruling, he wrote that human life cannot be wrongfully destroyed without, incur without incurring the wrath of a holy God. I should note that he was an aide and ally of the fellow Christian theocrat and former Alabama Supreme Court Chief Justice Roy Moore, of course, the man who beat Roy Moore in that Alabama special election not too long ago for the U.S. Senate is also here to weigh in on this tonight. Former Alabama Senator Doug Jones. And Senator, it's great to have you because, you know, obviously what we can hear and read in this is that he wasn't just relying on the Constitution and on legal precedent to explain. It's coming. Don't worry. The Tommy Tuberville peg is coming. It's so good. Explain this decision. You know, he's citing religious doctrine in the book of Genesis. Famous I pedophile Roy Moore. I wonder where is the line drawn between law and, and theocracy? Well, Caitlin, obviously with Chief Justice Parker, there is no line. Uh, I, I, I was listening to Governor Haley saying Alabama ought to just get back to the law. Well, hell, Parker doesn't worry about the law. All he worry about is his Christian philosophy. Uh, and that's nothing new, by the way, for those people who are shocked at this across the country. This has been his mantra for years. He has been in public service for a long time. As you said, he's an ally of Judge Roy Moore. Uh, and so this is nothing new. And it's, it's really, uh, uh, what's really sad about this, Caitlin, is not just all of the thousands of families that might be affected by this that ultimately could be yes the pedophile famous pedophile roy moore was famously the former supreme court chief justice not just the supreme court justice but the chief justice in alabama he affected across the country but our business community is just not going to step up again they didn't step up on the abortion bill they didn't step up on the immigration bill they're too afraid to speak out our UAB health system has got one of the finest health systems in the country, particularly their pediatrics and OBGYN. Mm -hmm. Who the hell's going to want to come to Alabama uh, after this kind of ruling? Who, how are they going to attract doctors? So this goes way beyond just e even the individual families that are going to be affected and the women of this state. Uh, it goes to businesses and who we are as a state. Yeah, I mean, we've already seen some of them saying, you know, they're hesitant to either move to Alabama or questions about about leaving. I want to get your take on on what we heard from the Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville, who, who was asked directly about this ruling and gave to me a bit of a confusing answer earlier. This is what he told reporters. Do you have a reaction to the Alabama Supreme Court ruling on the fact that embryos are children? Yeah, I was all for it. 
We need to have more kids. We need to have an opportunity to do that. And this, I thought this was the right thing to do. But the IVF is used to have more children. And right now, IVF services are paused at some of the clinics in Alabama. Aren't you concerned that this could impact people who are trying to have kids? Well, that's for that's for another conversation. People need to have a He does not know what an IVF is. He has no idea what it is. Do you understand? He does not know what it is. He has no fucking clue. Do you have a reaction to the Alabama Supreme Court ruling on the fact that embryos are children? Yeah, I was all for it. We need to have more. He said, I was all for it. We need to have more children. He has no idea what it is. He doesn't know. He thinks it's like a different kind of abortion. These lip tars that I got. By the way, notice how my accent when I do uh, portray myself as like a like a Republican guy is so on the money. Like this is literally how they sound. Okay, he's like, yeah, I thought I thought that uh, I thought that it was a different type of abortion. These lip darts, they keep coming up with new words. I U D I E D. Okay, I heard about that. They're doing that. That's a different kind of abortion they do in Afghanistan, right? Okay, I V F. I don't want no alphabet, LGBTQ. I don't want no alphabet when it comes to abortion shit, okay? Let me tell you, I think the Supreme Court in Alabama is right. They're correct. You understand me? DUI is the only thing that should be legal. When I have it, when I do it, none of that, though. No IBS, no nothing. Kids. We need to have an opportunity to do that, and this, I thought this was the right thing to do. But the IVF is used to have more children, and right now IVF services are paused at some of the clinics. And I'm glad that she, you know, explained to him in real time what in vitro fertilization is done for. In Alabama, aren't you concerned that this could impact people who are trying to have kids? Well, that's for that's for another conversation. People need to have that. We need more kids. We need the people to to have the opportunity to have kids. Well, that's a hard one. It really is. It's really hard because, uh, again, you want people to have that opportunity, and and that's what I was telling her. Like, I, I just, what what do I say? What do I say about this? Like, what can you say about this? He's so fucking stupid, bro. This is where modern medicine fails because we've kept idiots like this alive, okay? Hmm, that's a hard one. Not a hard one, dumbass. We need more kids. Uh, with all it's only hard because I don't know what those words mean. Is a hard one. All due respect, uh, what? <laughs> Caitlin, look, he had no idea what that that reporter was asking. None. This was that answer was so similar. It's like deja vu all over again for folks uh, around here. He had an almost identical answer. Uh, in 2020, uh, when he was running for the Senate, when asked if he would uh, support an extension of the Voting Rights Act, had no idea what it was and stammered around and stuttered around and was incoherent when trying to answer. He had no idea what that re reporter was talking about. He may have thought it was intravenous or something with Gatorade. I don't know. But he clearly had no idea. And that's just who he is. He didn't know the three branches of government. He doesn't, he, on your show, uh, had to you had to argue with him about white nationalists being a uh, racist. So this is what we've come to in this state. And it's a friendly reminder of his greatest moment. Oh yeah. This was fun. <laughs> I love that he, his ass hit every stair on the way down. Did a new wedge issue just drop? No, this is not even a wedge issue. Um, Republicans are smart and they like winning elections. I mean, they're having a hard time with that currently with their other uh, genuinely bloodthirsty 
even more bloodthirsty side. 